Hello there my fishy friends, my name is Peter and today we're going to talk about the difference between a Jack Chinook and a Coho. Those are the two fish that are most commonly misidentified on the river and I'm going to explain to you all the differences between the two so that you can fish with confidence. Let's get right into it. So here we have a Jack Chinook and a Jack Chinook is just, it's a smaller Chinook. It's smaller than 62 centimeters and that makes it a three-year-old male Chinook and the second fish right here that's a coho and we're going to go through the differences the fish are kind of the same size and this early in the season they're roughly the same color but where you start to see the differences are in the head so on a chinook if you look where my thumb is right where the teeth meet the gum it's all black so both of these fish have black and white parts to their mouth and that varies a bit by individual, but right where the teeth meet the gum line, it's going to be black on a Chinook and on a Coho, that part is white. So you see where the teeth meet the gum, that is white. The other difference in the head is on a Chinook, this will be a, a pointy little beak, where on a Coho, pretty quickly in the river, they start to develop this little bit of a marble right here, and this little bit of a, a it's called a kite but uh, it's not very pronounced in the female fish and it's also not very pronounced when they first get into the river so that is not it's a useful characteristic but it's it's sort of absent a bit in some of the fish second thing we're going to look at is spots so on a chinook the spots are large and they're long so you get these long lines that's because their scales are bigger if you look at the spots on a coho, it's got roughly the same amount of spots, but the spots are smaller. And then the easiest characteristic probably to compare between the two is the tail. So a tail on a Chinook will have large spots, both top and bottom on the tail. And on a coho, it will have few or no spots on the tail. So some coho do have a bunch of spots on the top half right here but they will not have spots on the bottom. About one in a hundred coho will have some spots on the bottom as well. So it, it's not like a hundred percent identifiable characteristics. You always want to look at two or more characteristics on a fish to ID it. The other thing I want to mention is you have to have a healed scar in place of the adipose fin here that identifies it as a hatchery coho. There are lots of wild coho in the river this year. So if they have this adipose fin on them, then you have to release the coho. All right, I hope you found that helpful. Thanks for watching. See you next time.